So my camera is about to die, so I'm going to make this video really quickly. Um, shut up. So, last week I forgot to mention it was Constitution Day! So it has been one week and one day. Wait, no. One week and one day. One week and two hundred and two hundred and twenty one years since the Declaration, no, Constitution. Wait, what? One of those was signed. Um, so yeah, uh, Elaine, I'm going to get ahead of time, just so you know. Um, I kind of want to feel like one-upping you. So I'm going to be doing a cartwheel, or not cartwheel, a handstand, in the dress. So, oh yeah, I am wearing shorts under, apparently this means shorts now. I'm wearing those under, they're pink, they're lovely. Bobby pin. That's not good. Okay, I'm going to try it one more time. Ah! Okay. Done. Oh, yeah, and another thing to Elaine. Um, I noticed that you wear your sunglasses on your head a lot and stuff. So, I found every pair of glasses that I can. These are mine, so I didn't really have to find them. But, yeah. I'm just going to wear them all. I hope I'll be able to see. Oh, that's much better than what I've been doing. I've been, like, stacking them upon each other. I'm going to challenge somebody right now, just in case the camera does die. Uh, my challenge for whoever I pick is to, um... Go about your town where you live and interview somebody there upside down about Twilight. Okay, you cannot know them. You can't put a little Bailey on them. Chandler! Whenever you can do that, that'd be lovely. Okay? Um, so this week's topic is to compare the Twilight series to any classic novel. Unfortunately, my choices have been very limited, for I have loaned out most classic novels that I own. And I also like to have visual examples. So, the one that I have is Pride and Prejudice. Very, very cliché, indeed. Um. So, now I can't imagine how... Sorry. Singage. Okay. Mmm. But, ja, that's... 